Now, I said six years ago, how do you transform a nation? And I made a list. Well, if you want to transform the nation, you have to have control of the media and the culture. Well, they've had that for a long time. From Hollywood to ABC, NBC, CBS, the New York Times, the music, everything, everything is run by the left. You have to have control of education. They're taking that last step now to not only have control of it, they've had control of it forever, but now they no longer care what you even say. Common sense is completely dead. Literally, two plus two can equal five if your kid can explain it on how he got there. And if it's a pretty smart way of getting there, it's not wrong. It's not right, but it's not wrong. Excuse me? Two plus two equals four. It always does. We are literally living in 1984. They are changing the answers to math now. Banks. Do they control the banks? You're damn right they do. You're damn right they do. Most importantly, I believe the bank controls us. The Federal Reserve. They're destroying what is in your bank. Everything that you've worked hard, they're destroying it. Medical. Do they control it? Not yet. If Ted Cruz has his way, not yet. But you'll notice that even your friends at Fox... Please pay attention, America. Please pay attention to what's going on. Even your friends at Fox won't release the names of the Republicans that tried to throw Ted Cruz under the bus. They all called up with all kinds of material on Ted Cruz to throw him under the bus. I want to bet it was a Chinese nonsense. That he was working for China, that uh, that oh, whole... No idea, don't really care. Uh, ridiculous nonsense. Don't really care. You don't know who Ted Cruz is at this point. You yeah, I mean, please. You, you go meet his He's dad. He's pretty well showed his stripes. You go meet his dad. In fact, Tiffany, I want an hour with his dad this week. Um... You meet his dad, and you'll know exactly who Ted Cruz is. You think he's working with a communist country of China? Yeah, you go ahead and believe that all you want. Medical, they control. Communication, we know they control communication now. Look at who they're in bed with. The guys from Facebook and Google and everybody, they're all working at the White House. The White House is there all the time. How do you think these, these, these riots and these revolutions started over in the Middle East? Through Facebook. Food and farms, do they control food and farms? You talk to a farmer. You see how much they're controlling. Do you know that they are now in, in California? They just did some chicken thing where you, they're banning the way you can... I try, I'm trying to figure out how, this, how to explain this. I, th- I think the way it is is you can't have chickens inside the chicken coop for so long or whatever. You have to have free-range chickens. It will mean that we've cut our egg production in about a third. We're working on some stories now about the Humane Society. If you're giving money to the Humane Society, stop right now. Stop right now. They uh, they are a full-fledged front for the left. And I know that sounds crazy because they're all about little puppy dogs, but I am telling you, stop giving them money. And we will show you why you need to stop giving them money. By the way, do you know that Lois Lerner is on the executive board of the Humane Society of America? Remember her? She's the IRS woman. Stop giving them money. Um, Communication, food, farms, police, and military. You think they have control of the police? Look how much money the Department of Homeland Security is giving, and nobody is even saying about all those Department of Homeland Security trucks and everything else and the cars that are here. They don't. The Department of Homeland Security is now involved in police business, your local police business all the time. How much money is the government given to our local police so they can have military-style weapons, military-style tanks? These things are tanks that are driving in our streets and jobs. You control those things, and you got it. Well, they got them. Now, they didn't six years ago. They got them now. They had a lot of them, but they didn't have all of them. And I couldn't figure out how you could get things like the military. Well, they've done it. Now, to transform it, you have to have all those things, and then you use certain things. You have to use every crisis that comes your way. That's why the president gave this speech yesterday, 
about a transformation of America on gun laws. We need to have fundamental transformation. He used the word transformation on uh, the understanding of guns and our gun laws. Then you need to use economic pressure. You want that pressure to be there so that bottom rises up. You use propaganda. Need I remind you that we just legalized propaganda being um, being used by the government on our own people. We just made that legal. Why? Why didn't anybody say anything about it? My gosh, historians are going to rip us apart. Then you use war because war is the war is the big one. That's the game changer because if you can make war bad enough, everybody just wants peace in the end and they'll take it in any way that they can get it. Then you need to redefine who the enemies are. Are you telling me that that's not happening? We all were clear it was Al Qaeda. Now we're we're partnering with Al Qaeda and it's the Tea Party that is the problem. It's the people who are against Common Core that are the radicals. You use behavioral scientists, and you figure out with behavioral scientists how to get people to nudge them into, well, that is Cass Sunstein, and this president has a team of behavioral scientists. That doesn't seem to bother America anymore. They are treating you like a lab rat. lab rat. That's how they're treating you. That's how they look at you. And it all boils down to nudge, shove, and then shoot.